examples because I think people think that I'm like picking on her um and it's not about that it's not about picking on her I just thought that since she is a doctor it was a really good example of like anybody you know like anybody can get into um a place where they become really obsessive about things and it can control their life what's up everybody it's jasmine today i wanted to do another video on uh, eating troubles eating issues restrictive behavior obsessive behavior um and this is in regards to obviously dr dre okay so i have received a lot of comments from my video most of them are like positive like oh i'm glad you talked about this and things like that but like for instance today i got this comment that said hold on why is it? oh yeah it's from blazing corona let's see if we should make this bigger and it says that you clearly have no life to sit here and judge how someone looks that's fair enough she offers advice if you don't like it don't watch her everyone on youtube has grown and can make their own decisions at least she's trying to make a positive difference unlike you just showing hatred you look unhealthy your face is super red your hair looks brittle and you look like you belong in a circus stop judging someone just because you don't like them um okay so <laughs> she basically just did the opposite of what she's telling me to do she's like bullying me because i wanted to raise uh concerns around another youtuber um somebody who's a doctor and why i don't think that you should follow her advice you know because she's putting advice out there about how to live your life um she's you know making videos about her diet routine and her um her workouts and things like that like so <laughs> I'm making a response to try and encourage people to not go down that path that she's going down because being really restrictive and obsessive about food it's a slippery slope okay and this isn't about how she looks it's about her health you know and one way to see someone's health is through how they look for example a morbidly obese person you can see that they are probably unhealthy because you can see <laughs> that they have an excess of fat and an excess of fat can cause clogged arteries and things like that and it's the same with being underweight whether you have an eating disorder or not being underweight is not healthy you know um being a little bit underweight it doesn't have too much problems you know but the more and more you get uh underweight the more and more issues you're gonna have so it's i mean yeah anyway but obviously the people that are criticizing me for uh making a video about her they're not seeing the bigger picture and the bigger picture is that she's a doctor who has a platform on youtube and quite you know quite a lot of subscribers right and these people can be influenced by what they're seeing they can be influenced they can see that she's really uh, restrictive about her eating you know she always talks about uh uh treat food like I have video clips of where she um, talks about uh, candy as like, oh, even vegans can get diabetes. Those are drying. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need you to do for me. We're in a gas station. Uh, I just got an apple. <laughs> um, but since it's Vlogtober, let me show you guys some obligatory, some obligatory Halloween candy here that I just find intriguing. They have, I can never find uh, M&M's aren't vegan, obviously, but I can never find M&M's in these, like, single-serving packets. It's always the massive ones for the holiday ones, but they actually have the holiday M&M's here at this gas station in just a, a little mini bag. In the United States, it's almost impossible to find, like, small, small bags like this. I feel like everything we have is, like, biggie size. <laughs> Overdo it or else. But, yeah, <laughs> for those of you wondering here's the white candy corn Halloween flavor and then these are a holiday American staple the Reese's peanut butter pumpkins they're cute <laughs> and apparently Skittles got on the Halloween bandwagon with their cauldron Skittles what do these do what's inside do these change color or something 
they're gelatin free. Hey guys, they're gelatin free. This is vegan, I think. I don't see any honey. Yeah, I guess Skittles are vegan. Skittles give me a headache if I eat more than three Skittles. I get an instant headache ever since I was a child. Sour Patch Kids, zombies. <laughs> um, let's be honest, do those really look that different from regular Sour Patch Kids? I guess they're purple and orange Halloween colors. Are Sour Patch Kids vegan? I was uh, under the assumption they weren't, but I don't see any gelatin listed, so I guess they are. Cool. Never fear. Like, okay, you know, that like th those sorts of comments, um, they uh, influence people, you know, and so then you start to think like, you know, why well, can't eat anything? You know, this doctor, she's telling me that I can't have any treat foods and, you know, I want people to live a broader life. I want them to not be restrictive because I've gone down that path and it sucks. And the reality is, is that a lot of um, people who have eating disorders, and I'm not saying that Dr. Dre has an eating disorder, I'm just saying that she's uh, exhibiting behaviors and if people were to follow those behaviors, they themselves could find themselves in an eating disorder because that's how I got into my eating disorder. I just, you know, thought that I looked overweight, so, or chubby or whatever, I don't know, but anyway, then I started cutting things out and then the next thing you know, you know, you just, you can't stop, right? So that's the thing. These people, they're going to see these videos and they're going to think, oh, maybe I should start cutting stuff out. And as soon as you start cutting yourself out, you can get into this trap. So, yeah. Um, and it's not even necessarily Dr. Dre's fault, you know. And that's why I'm making this video because there's no point in me saying to her that she needs to change what she's showing to her viewers because she, you know, she's stuck or maybe she's not stuck or whatever. But it, like if she is having trouble, she's not going to see it right. But I can tell you, her audience, that these are my concerns and I think that you shouldn't follow that same path, you know, that you should be aware that, um, you know, being very restrictive and obsessive about food and exercise and things like that it can have a negative impact on your life um yeah so this is just where I'm coming from and it's not like she's a good looking person you know like Amberlynn Reed is also a good looking person they're just unhealthy you know um, and that's where I'm coming from, you know, like, I, I think that they look great, and I don't have anything against their personality, like, I just think that Dr. Dre's personality is being hidden by these obsessive habits, you know, um, that's, <laughs> you know, because that's what it was like with me, you know, like, you get into this, this state, and your mind, it changes, like, it doesn't process things the way that it used to, and you just, you just, you're not yourself, um, and you only really regain yourself once you get out of it, so this is what, this is where I'm coming from, and, um, I hope you guys can understand that, and, um, you know, a lot of, uh, people with eating disorders, they do use veganism and vegetarianism to, it's a way of being restrictive in a socially acceptable way. And I'm not saying that Dr. Dre is doing that. I am saying that you should be wary because you yourself, you might think, oh, well, I'll just go vegetarian, right? I will stop eating meat. Um, and you might have the capacity to have an eating disorder, you know, like you might have that um, predisposition to that. So then if you started to be vegetarian, you might put yourself at risk of falling into the trap of an eating disorder. Um, and the thing is, is that that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be vegetarian. It just means that you should be wary, you know, like everything that we do, we should you know, check in with ourselves and make sure that we're doing it for the right reasons. And if you start to feel like, oh, well, now I'm feeling really afraid of certain foods and things like that, like, 
you know, take it easy, you know, um, don't be too hard on yourself, like, and that's, it's hard to explain because it's so easy to get into, um, an eating disorder, that, that's, that's why I really want to talk about it, because once you're in there, it can be really hard to get out, and it changes your life forever, you know, you can never think about food the same way, so, it can be really easy to think I'm going to change my diet and everything like that and you could go into it with all the right intentions and then the next thing you know it's three months down the line and you've cut out all these foods and you've you know become obsessive and and you're just not uh, enjoying life the way you were before you know and your life has become so focused on food and everything like that um, and not but on the other hand, you could become a vegetarian and you could really love it, you know, like you could become so free and you could feel so healthy and you could, you know, it could go either way or it could be somewhere in the middle. But I want people to know that these things can happen even if you don't intend to, like even if you don't have the intention of losing weight, even if you don't already have the disordered thoughts it can like come out in a way and then that you know and then you're in the the dark place so that's why I want to talk about it and I want everybody to be aware of it so that hopefully we can all avoid getting into the trap of of obsessiveness and unhealthiness and you know hopefully we can all go out and love ourselves you know um so that's that's it for today guys I think I've explained myself pretty well um I'll be making more videos about this because there are other people that are really good examples of um how this sort of thing happens and um I think it'll be good to show more examples because I think people think that I'm like picking on her um and it's not about that it's not about picking on her I just thought that since she is a doctor, it was a really good example of like anybody, you know, like anybody can get into um, a place where they become really obsessive about things and it can control their life. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's it for me today, guys. I will see you guys all next time. Enjoy the week, etc., etc. Hey, Dawn.